Today we're talking about some of the most controversial topics in the RVing world. Leslie even brought a spoon. She about to stir some stuff up. Well, it's collaboration time again. Yep. One of our favorite types of videos that we do. We partnered with five other YouTube channels and we come up with an RV topic and we release that video on the same day at the same time and give our take on the topic. And yeah. today's topic is controversial Ooh. RV topics. Okay. So after you get done watching this video, make sure you pop over and watch these other channels. We will mm -hmm. leave a link in the description to all their channels. And to make it easier, there's also a link to a playlist if you just want to go watch all the videos in a row without having to bounce around from different channel to different channel. Yeah. But let's get right to it. All right. The Lay first on. topic is, okay. well, there's a couple different ways to ask this question. Okay. So, do you put regular toilet paper in your toilet, or do you use camping toilet paper, or do you not even use your toilet at all? Some people don't even use their RV bathroom. True. Very true. We know some people who don't. We do. We use our bathroom. We use it. Yeah, we use Scott uh, toilet paper. But it's RV Marine. Honestly, I don't think it's any different than regular Scott. <laughs> it doesn't seem different. It doesn't seem like that really, really fast dissolving no, beat the clock type it, toilet paper. No, it's not beat the clock, no. <laughs> it's but ribbed. It's, I can't really see that. It's ribbed. You know, you see the, the, the Charmin commercials? Yeah. Where it's like ribbed yeah. for like maximum cleanliness? Mm -hmm. Maybe we're getting too personal with y'all. I think you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the next okay. controversial topic second topic running your refrigerator while driving on a travel day yes or no for us it's easy yeah because we have a residential refrigerator yeah so yes easy for us and easy because we do short travel days correct about that, three hours yeah so even if it it didn't run there's nobody in and out of it and you're only going three hours face cold so it doesn't matter but our seven pin connector will run it while we're rolling down the road yeah. where it gets more complicated is if you have the, the propane electric camping refrigerator that's exactly. where it gets hokey because then you might have to turn on your propane and you're yeah. really I don't, don't think you're do supposed that. to drive and run have your propane on at the same time yeah I don't know if that's a law I think it may be a law in some states maybe but um, I know that we have been through a couple of bridges and tunnels where they have stopped us and, 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 said, and made sure our propane was turned propane off. Propane needs to be turned off. So if you're going to go through one of those places, you definitely will have to turn your propane yeah. off. And I don't know, we have no experience with a camping uh, propane electric to, refrigerator. Yeah. So I don't know if you can run it on just electric while you're rolling down the road. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, not, a easy, not an issue for us because we just, we plug in and we just go. And we've yeah. never came back and opened up and had any kind of issue, no, any kind all. of significant drop in temperature. Our stuff's always been still good and still yep. fresh. So there you have it for the fridge. All right, what's next? Exterior lights, lights at night. Now, all the newer modern RVs come with a ton of exterior lights. Yes. So you got the fog lights, you got the running lights, and then you got the awning lights that now go all the way cap across lights. the whole thing. You got the step lights, right. you got the, yeah, the cap lights, the caps, the lights on Under the other the side. Under the belly lights. All kinds of lights. So the question yeah. is, do you leave your lights on all night? Or is it okay to leave your lights on all night? What do you think? Well, based off our last, I think it was <laughs> it, our last collaborative. It was collab a don't. Before, it was a don't. So I'm not a fan of leaving your lights on at night. It really doesn't bother us too much. We close all of our blinds. It's really not an issue. We've never had an issue with someone's lights uh, yet intruding into our living space or wrecking our night's sleep, sleep because there's yes, lights we, coming in. No, we haven't experienced, but I know there are people out here. My recommendation doing it. is to treat it like quiet hours. Exactly. I mean, and if you're not out there, why, why they gotta be on? And some people say it deters rats and squirrels and mice Security and stuff like that. And all that. Yeah. I don't know if that really works. I've seen the rope lights around the edges. I don't really think that works. We haven't had any varmint issues at all. No, we and we don't run lights at night. But like I said, I would just treat it like quiet hours. At, at quiet hours time, turn your lights off. Or at off. least tone it down to a bare minimum. Yeah. All right, next okay. controversy. Next one. Parking lots and truck stops. 
slides in, slides out. What's okay if you're staying? Well, A, we don't do that. No, we won't never do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too needy. <laughs> We've never stayed in a parking lot or a truck stop. No. Um, and we don't plan to. If no, we ever, plan is the key word. Yeah, if we had to in a pinch, we definitely would. And we would have to open our bedroom slide at least, at least a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Because we can't access our bedroom Without with the slides it. closed. Yeah. So I would say, again... Maybe there, halfway out for us in the bedroom slide. Yeah, there are certain situations where you would have to put your slides out. Um, if you can get to all your stuff without putting your slides out, I would say do that. Yep. But if you have to open your slides, open them just as enough to get by. to get by or get to your fridge or get to your bathroom or whatever you got to get to. And I, I've seen people just set up camp. Yes. At Walmart or yes. Cracker Barrel. I mean, they got their chairs out, their awning out, their slides <laughs> out, their their mat. I mean, they grilling okay. in the parking lot. I'm like, dude, this ain't a campground. <laughs> Sorry if I just offended somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a courtesy thing. It is. So that I think that that's kind of what's deterring a lot of these places from, from allowing. allowing yeah people exactly. to camp there is like they don't want people camping there. If you got to stay overnight, cool. But also I would recommend that you go in and purchase something. You Correct. know, don't just use their spot and expect that to be for free. Go in, at least get something. Now, if we like had to do. A Walmart stay let's say and we rolled in we never roll in at night but yeah if you did roll in at night we're nobody's there anyway very minimal people at Walmart in the middle of the night yeah so to me I don't see it would be an issue to put your slides out for the night knowing you're gonna leave no I don't morning. think so either I think that's fine probably not and I would also recommend that if you have the opportunity if the if the place is still open mm -hmm. you know go in and talk to the manager let them know what you're doing. Hey, we're only going to be here for X amount of hours. Um, yeah. We'll be really quiet, and in the morning, we'll be gone. We'll be gone. Don't have to worry about you. Here. And don't leave any trash. Pick up That's after yourself. Clean, clean up. up. Leave it better than what you found it. Matter of fact, pick up someone else's trash while you're there, because you know there's going to be trash out there. All right. Last one. Last one. What you got? It's a big no from me. <laughs> I'll go ahead and let you know it's a big no. And the question <laughs> is, do you drink the water from your tanks, from your freshwater from your tank? Fresh tank? Absolutely fresh. not. I have a hard enough time drinking it from the tap. Exactly. After we just got this Blue Tech filter, I still it doesn't feel natural, natural to, to go me. To the faucet. It, no, it doesn't, man. It does to me. I'm fine with faucet water. Mm. Honestly, I drink Crystal Light all the time. I would make my Crystal Light with <laughs> the tank. I, um, I'm getting mouth sweats. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Well, I'm thinking we come from the generation that drank out of garden hoses some not even out of the hose straight out of the freaking socket out of your house when you were kids and yeah. we turned out i think we turned out fine i get this comment all the time dude you're in the army i know you drank some filthy water and you had to be in some situations where you had to drink stuff and yes i did and and that's why i don't do that dude. anymore i don't have to do that anymore so i'm not gonna do it what if i got you one of those those life straws. Oh that my gosh. Built no. To, mm -mm. You wouldn't use a life straw. No. <laughs> I've I've seen videos of people like drinking out of mud puddles. Yeah. And like trenches and stuff <laughs> with the life straw. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Now I, I probably would if I had to survive. Push if it was a shot. survival <laughs> issue, yes. But I'm not just gonna choose uh, to drink out of a life straw or out of the fresh tank. I'm not gonna choose to do it. Get your spoon bag out. <laughs> Stir it up. <laughs> hey, make sure you pop over to those other channels and check out their video and see what their responses to all these controversial topics were. And uh, stick around for a few seconds because we're going to honor a fallen service member. Mm -hmm. If you want to get involved with helping us help vets out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you <laughs> next time. Bye. Bye.